Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about one of the most important questions before taking the US simile step 1. How do you really know you are ready to sit for the exam? I will walk you through how to use your MBME results, what those scores actually mean, and when it's the right time to book your exam. All based on official MBME data and my own experience preparing for step 1. So let's go. Before we start, I want you to know that most but not all of what in this video is based on the official MBME self-assessment. The exams created by the same people who write the USMLE Step 1. What you will see here comes directly from their official websites along with my own insights and advice from experience. So you can be confident that what you are learning today is both official and practical. The MBME self-assessments are the official and most trusted way to evaluate your step 1 readiness. They are created by the same organization that writes the USMLE, so their questions and difficulty are very similar to the real exam, but not completely identical. As of now, there are 8 online forms from 26 to 33, and these are the ones you should rely on to track your progress and decide when you are ready to test. Now, Let's talk about how to simulate the real exam. The details matter. The MPME self-assessment contain about 200 questions divided into 4 blocks of 50 questions. Plan for 75 minutes per block. That gives you about 5 hours of actual testing time. If you include your break time, expect about 5 and a half hours total. Take the form online in a quiet place with no distractions. To avoid bias, clear your desk, only your computer, a piece of blank paper, a pen, and a glass of water. Don't have your phones, text box, or other devices on your desk. Start at an exam-like time, for example 9 a.m. and the treat it like this day. Have your breakfast, coffee, snacks ready to eat during your official breaks. You can do the test in a co-working space if you need a change of environment. Important: Don't take breaks during a block, only between blocks. Typically breaks add up about 30 to 45 minutes, which is why the full session totals roughly 5 and a half hours. One practical hack I used after doing mini forms or you reach it like form 30, after finishing the the MBME take pre 120 on the same day to simulate a longer exam session and adapt to the exam stress. This helped me to get used to the endurance and the pressure of the real test. Here is a quick overview of how to read your official MBME score report. And if you used an unofficial MBME version, you can skip this slide. Your equated percent correct or EBC shows how much step one content you have mastered adjusted for form difficulty. The likely score range, usually about plus or minus 4 points, tells you how much your result could shift if you retook the same test. The shaded low pass range marks the borderline zone near step 1 passing level, and your probability to pass gives a confidence estimate, but not a guarantee. These details are accurate only when you take the MBME under the real exam conditions as we mentioned before. According to the the official MBME guidance, the step 1 passing threshold is about 60% equated percent correct, and the low pass range roughly 60 to 69% represents borderline performance, just above the minimum line. If your entire likely score range is below 60%, that's the high risk zone. MBME officially says you are at risk of failing step 1 and should continue preparing. My personal recommendation. Don't schedule your exam yet. Keep studying until you're consistently above that range. If your likely range overlaps 60 to 69 percent, that's the borderline zone. MBME says readiness is unclear. You might still be below the passing standard. My advice: It's still not safe to book step one. Strengthen your weak areas. Repeat another MBME after improvement, and aim to move into the 70 percent plus range before deciding. The third situation MBME describes is when your likely score range is partly within and partly above the low pass range. In this case, your performance is around 
or just about the steep on passing level. But MPME says your readiness is still uncertain. You could pass or barely miss it. My personal recommendation, don't set your exam yet. Work in your weak systems and aim for a stable 70% or higher on your next MPME before deciding. The fourth scenario is when your likely score range is completely above the low pass range, meaning over 70% equated percent correct. MBME defines this as being above the step one passing level and you are likely to pass if you test so. My advice, once you consistently score 70% or higher on two forms in a row, you are in the safe zone and it's time to book your step one. Now, Let's talk about the powerful tool that ties all of this together. The Ambus Score Predictor. It lets you combine everything you have done. All your MPME forms, your yearly self-assessment 1 and 2, your free 120, your yearly percentage, and even dates you finished your wallet and the plan to take the exam. Once you enter all of that, it calculates predicted step 1 score, your probability of passing, and shows whether you are ready for the line or not ready yet. Here is my own result. I'm was predicted around 233 with a 99% chance of passing. So if you keep updating your results after each assessment, you will see your readiness grow and know exactly when it's time to walk step one. Now for my advice to all IEGs, when to actually sit for a step one. Once you score 70% or higher on two online MBME forms in a row, that's your signal to set your eligibility period, usually for the next three months. But don't rush to choose your exact exam date yet. Wait until you have completed two more MBMEs also above 70 percent back to back that's what i call being persistently above 70 percent it proves you are stable not just lucky ones in the remaining time finish your mbme forms take the free 120 under exam like conditions and focus on your weak systems based on mbme feedback then use the ambus score predictor to combine everything your mbme your lead self-assessment free 120 and the your lead results if it confirms your predicted score is solidly in the safe range that's your green light to schedule step one this method gives you safe data-driven margin so you walk into this day confident not guessing thank you for watching i hope this video helped you know when you are truly ready for step one always trust your mbme data use the ambus score predictor to confirm your readiness and stay consistently above 70 percent before you schedule to stay connected and get more step one guidance for imgs follow me on twitter youtube and telegram thanks again for being here and remember you are closer than you think